Today I'm going to be doing a series review and the series is the Iron Fae series by Julie Kagua. I probably said that wrong. You know I'm horrible at pronouncing words and Julie Kagua, Kagua, I don't know. But yes, I'm going to be doing a review of this series. So first thing first, I'd just like to note that I got this box set from Book Depository and it actually comes with this signed poster of hers with, and um, on one side it's one of the characters Ash, I don't know if you can see that but hopefully you can and on the other side it's Puck and on the Ash side it is signed so that's pretty cool. So the Iron Fae series consists of the Iron King, the Iron Daughter, the Iron Queen and the Iron Knight. So it basically follows what she thinks is a normal teenage girl named Megan Chase and but she gets thrown into the fairy world once her younger brother is captured and she discovers that she's actually quite important to this fairy world as she is a princess. Throughout the series she has to go on a lot of quests to uh, do things. There's a lot of adventuring and action in this series which is one thing that I really did enjoy about this series. So along these adventures that Megan must take she always has like a group of friends to accompany her and she must always try to like defeat something or realize something about herself in these adventures. So I don't want to give like any more of the plot away really because I don't want to spoil it for you but now I'm going to get into things that I liked and didn't like without spoiling anything for you. So the first thing I liked about the series is the covers. I just think the covers are really gorgeous. I think my favorite one is probably the Iron Daughter cover. Look how gorgeous it looks. Also so for some reason even though it came in the box set the Iron Knight was a, a special one. It um, has like these fancy flaps at the end and it also has deckled edges which I surprisingly don't like deckled edges and I don't like that it's different than the other books. Why? I guess because it's the last book in the series? I'm not sure. One thing I didn't like about this series is the love triangle. Basically there's a love triangle between her best friend that she's known for like since she was a little child and uh, like broody kind of person that she meets that she shouldn't fall in love with but she does and there's a love triangle between them and it's so predictable. I knew who she was going to end up with and it just it really annoyed me. The love triangle seemed like it didn't need to be there and it was just really annoying. One thing I did like though was that Megan was really strong and she always fought for what she believed was right most of the time and she was just a really strong character and she did grow a lot throughout the character development from the first book to the last book. She had so much character development and so did the other characters too so I did like the character development in this story. One thing I did not like though about the series was that it was predictable. For the most part you exactly everything that was going to happen and how it was all going to play out and like maybe for perhaps like one or two surprises throughout the whole series I knew everything that was going to happen and that was very disappointing to me. Though one thing I did like was the world building in the story. I thought the world building for the most part was really good and uh, it really came together in life and I could picture everything around them and the, I don't know the world building was just really good in this series. I just found with this series too there were a lot of um, similarities um, between other fairy books I've read and also between things. There's a character in here, he's a cat, his name is Grimaclin I think or we can call him Grim as that's what they call him too and he has a big smile and he's very logical and he reminds me very much of the Cheshire Cat from Alice in Wonderland. There's also similarities between the labyrinth and other things like that and I don't know it kind of annoyed me slightly and even though Grim was one of my favorite characters it was also always in the back of the mind of who this character was reminding me of. All in all I thought this series was good but it wasn't fantastic. I knew everything that was going to happen. The love triangle really like annoyed me and though the adventuring and action was good and that Megan was pretty kick-ass and a strong female protagonist there were just certain things that just couldn't give this book fantastic. I think the lowest book for me was the first book if this book three stars, um, it was just very very similar to other books I've read. After that the other books started to find their own plot but there were still similarities and everything and they still had the same kind of problems that I did with the first book. So I'd probably rate this series three, three and a half um, out of five. I liked them. I would probably reread them again. Um, however, if I hadn't have bought the box set and I just read the first one, I probably wouldn't have read the rest of the series. Now, I am glad that I did because the rest of the series was better after that. But 
I don't know, it was just a shame to me how similar and how I, I could know everything that was going to happen in this series. So I would love to know if you've read this series what you thought of it, if you had the same problems that I did or if you actually liked some of the stuff. Uh, I'd love to hear your opinions down below and uh, like this video if you liked it and subscribe if you'd like to see more book reviews from me and I'll see you next time. Okay, bye!